possible, and Leah as well for all her support, and everyone that's here, you know, to to make this this happening and this gathering um, energetic and alive and celebratory, and it's really exciting. It's magic. Yeah, it's magic. Woohoo! How many how many months has this gallery been going on? Six months. Six months. Six months. And you're, uh, this is the start of the, the new year, you know, 2012. What the month? Ascension with Amanda Sage. And All we right. Are, we are blessed right now. Yeah. That you're here. It means the absolute world to me that you're here. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's a huge honor for me to be here. For First and foremost, personally, because I was born here. I was born in Denver and never actually lived here. Grew up in Boulder for a major part of my my years of of uh, evolving and becoming who I am today, and I'm really excited that there are a lot of people here today. My family and teachers and fellow students that that I grew up with, and it's a really big honor to share who I've become and the work that I've done with everyone. And it's also really awesome. It was like 2012. I mean, we've all been like in many ways waiting for this year, like hearing that this year is going to be this, something is going to happen, right? <laughs> it is happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. That's the crazy thing, is it is happening. Yeah, it's, it's life, like, it's awareness, it's what's, it's what's going on, you know? And today I found, a friend of mine actually wrote um, me a little message yesterday saying that February 11th was kind of an auspicious, auspicious day. As, um, Mary Magdalene appeared for the first time oh. in an apparition in, in Lourdes, France. Yeah. And the anniversary of that is today. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought that was pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But I just want to say a little bit about my new work and the work that's hanging here. Because I'm sure, I mean, you could read something on the internet or it could, it could come through that way. But just for those of us that are here now, I figured I could share that with you. Um, it's, it's titled Self-Exposure, and I kind of centered that around this really big piece that's here to the right. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's, it's a painting that I started six years ago, um, and I read about this gesture, the lifting of the skirt, in a book called um, The Story of V by Catherine Blackledge. And it was such an empowering gesture, and I really uh, was blown away by it and started talking about it with people and realized that nobody really knew about this. And, so I decided I had to paint it. And it, was, it took me six years to finish it because I had to really get in touch with why I would do this in the first place. <laughs> and so it's a pretty literal painting. I think a lot more literal than many of my other pieces uh, where you, the more you look at it, the more you can kind of piece together the puzzle of what I'm saying. And more than anything, it's, it's bringing in, it's standing up for what you believe in and that this is a time where there's nothing to hide anymore. We kind of have to just go full out. And we don't need weapons, you know. We can kind of like, our weapons are just fully within our own truth. And I feel like I've been going through that myself, just personally in so many ways lately. And it's, it's been a, a tough journey in many ways, but it's also very revealing. And I feel more than anything, it's something that I just need to continue to trust because Everyone around me just wants to love me, actually. <laughs> and, that's, yes, we do. <laughs> and, that's, and I think that's a that's kind of a metaphor for everyone, you know. It's like it's it, you're more critical of yourself than everyone else is, and I think it's it's you just have to keep going. And that the the rest of my pieces here too. This one is a big. This one was on the flyer, the Orphic Awakening, and this is a painting that for me that was really important because it. It, I took it further than I had any other painting, um, working on masonite and going just through all the layers. So I work in this technique that's an old master's technique called the Mish um, technique, which is basically mixed, uh, working with mixed mediums, um, egg tempera and oil glazes, comes from the early Renaissance. And it's, it's something where you're working with light, painting the light and then glazing with color. And it's something that you can do in an infinite amount of layers. And to kind of like discover and where you're going with it when you don't really know is something that's that has a very intuitive aspect to it that's really important and something that I feel driven to to go further through because it's something that I 
and channeling in a way more, but it's also sometimes you get to a, a, a problem or an issue where you need to, how to solve that problem in this material world where you can't unclick a layer and re-click a layer. <laughs> so there's like hundreds of hours in like this painting, but I, and as much as, as, as I see friends of mine like Andrew Jones and others can do so many crazy things in also a very short amount of time, the dedication and the love and the sweat and the tears that goes into it, um, it's a prayer and I feel like the thoughts that go through me and also my process is something that I'm sharing with everyone else. And while I'm painting, I'm listening to all kinds of crazy stuff, you know, like Coast to Coast AM in the middle of the night. Also listening to David Wilcox's new book, um, really, really awesome, The Source Field Investigations. Uh, and all of this is really helping me realize that we're all interconnected and it's all something that we're doing as a family in, in a really greater sense and it takes our individual just awareness to, to realize that every little thing that we do has an influence in the greater picture yeah. and every little thought on top of that which is gets kind of even more intense mm -hmm. so and these three paintings here are also brand new they haven't I haven't released them anywhere else um, I've kind of nicknamed the, them the prophets at different times and I started them last year almost exactly a year ago as live paintings um, two of them started, Mind and Body started on the street of, streets of LA during Downtown Art Walk. And I had a concept with them that, they, that I started with the form of the egg and with a specific color and knowing that there was going to be a face in the middle and nothing more and allowing the environment to help um, direct what was happening. <clears throat> also the shape of the egg is something I'd like to talk about because it's something that's really reoccurring in my work and that came... Um, in 2006 when I went on the journey to Bali on a little self, a little vision quest and there was a snake that brought this egg to me in a painting, uh, one of my first paintings there and it was kind of came out of the swirls of color and everything and this rainbow snake had an egg in its mouth and I, there was a bit of a self-portrait of me sleeping and I was just kind of like, whoa, Mr. Snake, thanks! And I was, I'd been looking for a vessel that I could put everything into and feel safe and it seemed like this eternal form. And the more I learned about the egg, it is something that, I, that, is, that is something that is in every culture and every, every story, and it's where we all come from. It's so it's the shape of our cells and our planet. It's the organic symmetry within everything. And to me, it's almost like a portal and a window through which we can go through. And maybe it's one of those windows that we'll go through and time will dissolve. <coughs> Duality will dissolve. And I feel like that's where we're, where, where we're at now. And the painting that I'm standing to now, um, right now, is kind of my most um, present, my most like actual, actual like in progress piece. Like this is probably the least, yeah, it's still not finished. But they're like little things, little things. They're, they're people, actually. And the thing is about this painting is this is a dream and a vision that I've felt for years. And it started to really crystallize in the past few months and it's a vision about a train and it's a physical train it's not just a metaphor although it is a metaphor you know it's kind of like it is all of it you know so just go with flow with me right <laughs> and it's the train is something that that is it's a vehicle that i see everybody being able to tap into and it being something that it's not a stagnant um, place um, which doesn't need to be stagnant, that's kind of a negative word in a way, but it's, it's something that's moving. And I feel like movement is something that we need right now. It's something that, and through movement, we're going to, we're going to clear, clear space. We're going to clear the energy and open this world to a more like, connected reality. Uh, globalizing through culture and music and art and having a big party. You know, it's kind of where I think we need to go. And, and it's kind of something where it's, it's been growing. <laughs> it's been growing, you know, since the 60s. It's been growing for hundreds of years, actually. When you look back, you know, there's the Chautauqua movement. There was, you know, the, the, the traveling education that came out of the people. Um, and I think this is a time where people are going to start to take back their own their own initiatives and their own uh, ability to empower themselves and I think that we can do that like 
There's a lot of us that have been working for years at empowering ourselves and also cultivating what we um, really believe in. And it's time to kind of like give that back, you know. And there's a lot of like technology. There's a, a lot of like knowledge about food, about medicine, about all kinds of things, about psychology that we all know and that our ancestors have known. And our, our contemporary media doesn't really broadcast that, you know, anymore. And I, I think we can do without that. And I think we can make a movement that's actually so viral that it will be tapped into in, in the billions. Like, billions of people will want to be a part of this. Yes. Little ones and old ones and everybody in between. Just because it's, like, so fun and it is just feels good, right? Like, those things is all it really needs to be about. And so to me, it's like the funnest thing that I have lately to think about. Um, it just makes me feel so good. And I, all my little cells start going crazy. And so I decided I have to start painting it. I mean, that's kind of my role. And my role is to talk about it and to plant that seed. And it's kind of, it's not like, all right, be there, do this. Do, 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 do. That's kind of like the paradigm that we're going out of. It's more, how do you want to participate in this? What do you want to contribute to this? and build it in your dreams, build it in your visions, and talk about it. Because we're all gonna, there's, there's a place for everybody on the train, because you can get on it and you get off it. And you can drive a bus to it, and <laughs> stay content, you know? And it'll go around the world, and it will, and it will see, it will, it will leave a wake of, of just awesomeness. Gardens, and knowledge, like water, water systems in cities and towns that, have, that don't have fluoride in them anymore because we know better. You know, that kind of stuff. And I think it's easy. I think it's a lot easier than you think. And it's just about connecting the win-win-win situations, the one actually making the win-win situations from the situations that aren't working through creative solutions. And we can do it. And we've got a lot of people behind us. And I'll vouch for that right now. I've had a lot of conversations with some super powerful people that are on board. So. Yeah, so that's the most exciting thing that I have to talk about. And I could talk about it all night. <laughs> but yeah, so let's just like keep that, like, keep in touch. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> I'll let you know when the kickoff is. Keep it going, girl. <laughs>